한국에서 먼저 되게 유명하신 연예인이셨잖아요. 맞죠, 맞죠. Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna. Welcome to our planet. And in case you missed it, I'm the owner of this channel. In the last few years of my channel, you've seen a couple of my South Korean friends visit and give their opinions on various topics related to Filipino culture and even South Korean culture. According to South Korea's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, about 150,000 South Koreans actually lived here in the Philippines back in 2019. With this number of Koreans in the country, a good number of them have actually become prominent and popular even before the Hallyu wave. Today, I've invited a couple of South Korean friends of ours to react to six popular South Koreans in the Philippine entertainment. Scene. From actors to actresses to comedians and news reporters, let's see what they think about their fellow Kababayans. Hey Hello. guys, we're AMVC based here in Maryland near Washington DC. My name is Brian. I'm Ryan. I'm Daniel. Grace. And we are Korean Americans. Our channel is called AMBC. We're just friends making videos on YouTube. Hello everyone. I am Google. Hi, I'm Google's girlfriend, Ongdae. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. My name is Judy. And I am Michelle. And we both actually run a YouTube channel, both in South Korea. Mm -hmm. Michelle is Korean American mm -hmm. from California. I lived in California, but I was born in Korea and I lived abroad in Canada, in the US, and for two years in Abu Dhabi, like Louis. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Jaden. I'm Char. Okay, today what are we gonna do? Today we're going to do a reaction video. Yeah. Koreans mm -hmm. reacting to Korean celebrities yeah. in the Philippines. So let's get to it. Grace Lee. <gasps> Grace Lee. That's oh, her name. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Grace. Oh. She looks familiar. But that's what I said. Good for you, baby. She looks a lot like uh, Park Jimin. Park Jimin? Park Jimin? Kim Jimin? Park Jimin? You making stuff up. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> She looks like an actress to me. She looks like my aunt. To me, she kind of gives me like talk show host slash like reporter vibes. She could be an actress too, but the way she's dressed, I would say maybe like an anchor. Well, actually, no, I don't think she's an anchor because I don't think anchors take pictures like this. Uh, Why not? She's it's definitely good. not an actress, I feel. Like, because really? all of her pictures, they're not looking at the camera. It's probably pictures. a photo shoot. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Model. Model. Yeah. Actually, I know her. Oh. I've seen her. If you don't wanna see me. She and I go to the same church in the Philippines. Oh. Yeah, and I remember after mass. She's I'll your be, friend? I would be, no, she's an honor to me. Oh. I would like go outside after mass. She stands out. Even I'm a girl, mm -hmm. I had a small crush on her. Grace Lee. Oh gosh. I think she's an actress. I don't think she's like a singer. <sighs> I'm gonna go with actress too. She kind of looks like an announcer, a news reporter, but I don't know if that was included in I got to know Grace Lee by Coco. Coco is a director. Grace Lee, newscaster. Newscaster, TV host, radio DJ, and entrepreneur. Part two. No. No. I said no. I said no. I told you. No. I told you. TV host. What? Radio DJ entrepreneur. <gasps> you were right. Oh. Newscaster, oh. TV host. Oh. You have a good like <laughs> intuition. I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know. Her profile photos look like an announcer. Oh, photo. okay. Okay. Oh, radio DJ. Yeah, she's a radio DJ. And actually, back in the Philippines, when I'm going to school, uh -huh. I would listen to her every morning. Do you remember something special happened? I remember she she had a stomach ache oh. ulcer do you remember something special oh. ulcer <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? what? <laughs> was once in a relationship with former president Noi Noi Aquino? Oh, 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 I know her. She's a singer. You do? Oh, she, she is? is? She has a K-pop idol. She has an idol school. She kind of she does. She has her own like YouTube that. channel. See? She comes she back and forth. She knows. I don't know any of like the singer <laughs> idol stuff, but I think you probably have a better idea. Wait, I know her, but I don't remember what You just I saw a YouTube video on her. her. Isn't this outfit from like one of those she, idol... Yeah, idol competition shows. Yeah. Oh, she came out in a competition show? I think oh, she's so. really pretty. She... I think I knew her from YouTube. I'm pretty sure she's a singer. Is that idol school? Wait, but oh, she was on a Korean idol show, but mm -hmm. she's working in the Philippines. Jessica Lee. Name is pretty big for her. She looked like a student. Someone who can sing and dance. Singer? Is she idol? Is she actor? Looking at her uniform, maybe she came from Produce 101. I want to pick me up. Sing me, sing me, sing me. And I 
especially, I love her eyes. Her especially, eyes, yeah. She's I eyes love, free charm. Yeah, I love that monolith charm. Yeah, she's pretty mm. than me. So, in 2018, I collaborated with her in this concert, and Jessica Lee was also one of the participants. I know it, you know it. You already know! It's right. YouTuber, model, a little bit. Former K-pop idol. YouTuber, model, and former K-pop idol. She used to post mm -hmm. YouTube videos on like what it was like being a trainee. Some tips on how to pass. Did you watch auditions? those videos? I did. I did. I did. She and was then... also a former <laughs> trainee. Uh, she's very really relevant in that field, oh, okay. so I used to refer to her videos. Oh. Wow. YouTuber. You got that right. Yeah. Yeah. Idol. Wow. Contest. Yeah, I, yeah, she's the type internet. of girl oh. that Filipinos would love. Oh, she's an idol school. Yo, so I knew her before she went on the show. I'm so much better than you. And then oh, was... she lives in the Philippines? Did she grow up there or something? Know. Or I did she, she move? went to school there. Oh, she has 800,000 subscribers. Jessica, if you want to do a collab with AMBC, <laughs> we can contribute about 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> a little less. Jin Ho Bae. Jin Ho Bae. I've never seen this celebrity in the... He looks like idol. You can see a lot of people who like this in Hongdae. Yeah, actually this type of look. He's someone that you can find in Hongdae easily. <laughs> When I was young, I did it. <laughs> did what? The look, the hair. Love the hair. So you want to go back to to the younger you? No. Okay. No. Ah, Jino, I'm sad. Jino, music artist, but the feel is a bit hip hop. Jino, hip hop. Uh huh. Music. Ah, he's a rapper. 약간 장근석 닮은 것. No, but this haircut right here. That mullet. That wolf cut. That's definitely rapper vibes. Rapper? I say rapper. I would say he's a rapper too. Maybe more like rock. Oh, Maybe he could be a rock. Yeah, rock. Oh yeah, he could be a Korean rock star so like FTIO. Uh, I think he's an idol. Yeah, he kind of looks like he a, does look like his hair, like the hair and yeah. the. He's got like singer vibes. Like music producer got Jana Yeah, the right. I mean, look at like, like the piercings. That's yeah. like an idol trio, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm curious. See. Singer, singer, TV host, mm -hmm. and YouTuber. One million YouTube streams. It's like big on YouTube. Man, all these people. People can speak so many languages. Then singer also watched it. The feeling is something a lot of music will be very popular. Was once a guest host and popular oh. Filipino variety show. It's showtime. One million YouTube subscribers. Oh wow. wow! I didn't know this many Koreans are active yeah. in the Philippines. And they're pretty yeah. big too. I mean, yeah, if one, he has million mil one million and the other person had eight hundred thousand. Yeah, that's a lot. Your you time. could cover a Filipino song. I can see. Yeah, it's Especially, just I can play the singing. guitar. Yeah. Yeah. One day I'm gonna. And stop. nobody's gonna watch. Sorry. Singer songwriter. Yeah. Idol is kind of artsy, mm. like an artsy idol. But like that group, the Twenty One, mm. the one that's kind of like a little hipster or like a little funky. I think Twenty One, all four of them are funky. Yes, I did that, and you would do it too for a check. You mean the funky. rapper, the I main one? So I think it? she's in the music industry. She looks like Wendy. Ah, Wendy. Uh, Wendy, yeah, yeah. In, like the, Wendy. in this picture, in this one, yeah, yeah, she does look like. And Wendy. this one, she looks like Wendy. In this one, she looks like Hana. Uh, Hana. So she's definitely an idol. The the duality. Toy. I feel like nowadays a lot of uh, celebrities do YouTube. So I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but most of them they have YouTube, YouTube channels. Yeah, yeah, they're influencers oh basically. Gosh, they're just <laughs> like. Us. You're just like me. Yes, I can see. I think she's an idol. Are there idol groups like that? And I'm pretty sure they have their own idol groups. Okay, I say comedian. Comedian. <laughs> just because we've been saying. Singer really? and actress. Yeah. She's a pretty. Actually, I like how she has that lovely look and that chic look. A girl who wears sneakers and a girl who wears heels. Get a girl who can do both. Undeniably talented. She's a dancer. You know, actually, I was going to enlist in her dancing class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in Bonifacio. Can you dance? I was gonna learn from her. Dancer. dancer. Oh, okay. okay. She's a dancer. It seems like all of them are YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, she has really oh. good following. So I won't be mentioning all the 
celebrities that I know. I remember so many people. She now has over 1.75 million YouTube subscribers. She started as a dancer. Oh, brown eyed girls. Cara, oh, Wonder Girls, Four Minutes, oh Tiara, Tabichi. I've seen her on TikTok. She now has, that I think about she it, she has 1.75 million YouTube subscribers. Oh, wow. oh, oh Ryan, Ryan, we have a Ryan. Ryan Bank. Oh, I know him as well. Um, He's so he looks like a real estate things. agency because of the suit. Yeah, super. Oh, you know that? I don't know. I don't So she knows where I'm at. Korean programming, so Bang, that's a cool name, I want that. Bang, bang. Bang. Doesn't he look like he could come out on the news? Anchor vibes. I think he's a comedian. Judging from his part, which is very professional, I would say he's a CEO. He looks very professional, but because he's a celebrity, I'm guessing he's a comedian. For Don't a get comedian? me wrong, he's not bad looking. No, no, no. He's, he's a he's handsome a... guy, but you know, there are some handsome guys that are comedians too. He kind of looks like he could be an, like an announcer too, right? Uh, he's too chubby to be an announcer. <laughs> Nobody asked. They have to be like, oh, actually, I don't know how it is in the Philippines, but in Korea, they do care about how you look. Or I think he's a comedian. He could be a comedian. Comedian slash TV host. But he looks kind of serious in this photo. But this one on the left, like, I think if he was really, mm. if he needed to be serious, I don't know, that photo looks like he's trying to be serious. I'm gonna go with Let's, comedian okay. slash TV I'm gonna host. follow your gut. TV host, comedian, <laughs> actor, and singer. Uh, okay. Comedian. And a TV host, in actor, Philippine? and singer. Yes. Mm -hmm. But last time I knew him, he was a comedian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's really good at the gallo. He's the most famous celebrity among all the celebrities that we saw a while ago. TV host, comedian, actor, and singer. And singer? Uh huh, uh huh. Now, Showtime is very. 활발히 활동을 하고 계시고 거의 뭐 유재석이 한국의 맞아요 한국의 한국 MC라면 맞아요 라인 뱅 is like 국민 uh, MC라고 저 알고 있었어요 맞아요 맞아요 네 맞아요 맞아요, 맞아요. 음. 진우 형이랑도 몇번 케미를 맞추셔서 TV 쇼에서 계속 진행을 하셨어요 오 TV 형 oh, he's, he's a comedian he's a comedian yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's also an actor and a singer yeah. <gasps> big brother Philippines mm, reality TV company he's a big brother oh. so that means that he speaks uh, language pretty Tagalog? fluently yeah. like, I, fluently? I think they speak TV? English pretty well because I know English is the official language in Philippines. Ah, I know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even I know. She's an idol, right? I don't know what if she was a part of a group in the Philippines. Just in general. Well, she's I 21. Oh, she's 21. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse you. She's got like the cool 21 mm -hmm. look. She seems cool. There's like a documentary that shows and her also, life. In the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, we already oh, yeah. oh, oh, man. I knew she was going to come. Dude, yeah, we know her. We Someone, already know. Yeah. Come on, this this Nuna. She was popular for her palm, palm, tree, palm, palm tree hair. Oh, oh yeah. Fire. I tried doing it. Yeah, people are putting like pens, <laughs> pencils, right? I tried doing it I don't know so exactly mm. what she does there, but I knew she was popular in the Philippines before, before she debuted yeah. in 20. She was a singer in the Philippines. Oh, she was. She had her own song. I know she comes out on like TV shows. I know. You know? You know her. When I was high school student, mm. I love her. Oh, you love her. But I could never meet her. Actually, it's Sandara Park. I've seen her back in the Philippines. She was really, really popular. She even had a movie. When her movie was out, I would go to SM Mega Mall and watch her movie. She, she looked like you! <laughs> So she was a very popular movie and television actress, singer, and a top CF model. Oh, she was an actress too? I didn't know that. The other picture kind of makes her look like an actress. It's very like Sun Sue. She won an award for best new actress. She had an album? She looks so oh. young in this. Like, she looks so sweet and innocent. Oh. Oh. She was a very popular movie. Oh, movie? What kind yeah, of she movie? Yeah, she was in the movie. Filipino movie. I know what you said. You know what you said? Yeah, she speaks Tagalog well. I want All of them I want to learn too. I want, I want to learn too. Oh, she came in oh. movies and TV. Oh. And CFs. Oh my goodness, she looks so cute. Yeah, she looks young in that. So young. She is the most popular Korean in the Philippines. Of all, all time. time. Her mini album.
album uh, was certified platinum. Wow. In 2004. Four? Oh. Uh, everyone in Korea kind yeah, of knows of course, that she was very, very popular famous and very popular in the Philippines. I did not know that. You didn't know? I had no idea. Oh, really? Mm. In the Philippines, it's very possible for a foreigner to be a popular celebrity in the country. And as seen earlier, a good number of these foreigners are actually Korean. But as a Korean yourself, what are your thoughts on how Filipinos treat and openly welcome foreigners and Koreans in the Philippine entertainment scene? Do you think the same would be possible in South Korea? It's very commendable. Fellow Koreans being treated without prejudice, with open arms. We appreciate any type of kind gesture to anybody. I think the thing about South Korea, because 99.9% .9 of people there are Koreans, they lack exposure to certain different type of cultures and yeah. different you know backgrounds yeah i don't think it's possible in south korea for foreign celebrities to receive like this level of fame mm -hmm. foreign members and like idol groups you know they're popular too yeah. but i don't think they're like to this level yeah i mean we have seen foreigner yeah. celebrities yeah. in the past yeah. and mm, yeah. sam like also and like all the idol groups they have yeah. foreigners too yeah. but i feel like yeah it's not like they're yeah, not the center of, the center yeah. of yeah. attention yeah. for example like lisa from blackpink i heard she's like super popular outside of korea yeah mm -hmm. uh, but, like in korea she's yeah. not as popular i think it would be interesting to see a filipino they Debut in a K-pop idol group. I don't think we've seen that. Oh yeah, sure? have we, have we yeah. seen it? They're usually Thai. Japanese or Chinese or Thai. I don't know much about Filipino culture, so it was interesting to see how these Korean celebrities integrated themselves into the Philippines' like mainstream media and culture. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, and the fact that yeah. Korean people can become that popular is really good for Brian because you know he always <laughs> wanted to be famous. So maybe no, I just I just want <laughs> attention. <guys. laughs> 필리핀의 문화에 대해서는 잘은 모르지만 아무래도 우리나라보다는 많이 개방적이고 열려 있는 문화인 것 같아서 이 말. 우리나라 사람들이랑 외국인들이 필리핀에 가서 연예인으로 성공할 수 있는 그런 케이스가 아마 더 많지 않을까 저도 그렇게 생각을 해요. 예전에는 솔직히 조금 어렵다고 생각을 했었는데 요즘에 데뷔하는 아이돌 분들 보면 100% 한국인으로만 이루어진 그룹이 많이 없는 것 같아요. 그러니까 음. 한두 명 정도는 외국인 분들이 꼭 있고 그런 외국인 분들의 비율이 되게 점차 지금 되게 많아지는 추세이기도 하고요. 그래서 예전에 비해서는 많이 길이 열려져 있지 않나 생각이 들어요. 음. I agree on to that. As a Korean who lived in the Philippines for about 13 years, as a foreigner, it's an open opportunity field. Both the Philippines and Korea right now are very much open to accepting more nationalities when it comes to the entertainment and cultural field. Because the Philippines opened their mind to Korea, so I think they're awesome. I like the fact that Filipinos are very welcoming to foreigners, to people. I love how they're very open-minded. I think one of the reasons why they openly welcome foreigners and treat them well is because when Filipinos see them, these foreigners appreciate their culture, their country, they even express it. And to see a foreigner speaking their own language, I mean, who doesn't love that, diba? Right? They're one of us. We're barkadas. If you want to be famous in Korea, you have to learn to speak Korean. Korean. Koreans would like to see content that speak their own language. Even though you might not go to the Korean TV shows, Maybe you could be a famous YouTuber channel as well. I think there are foreigners that are becoming more prominent, but I don't know if they'd be like the top, top. I'm not sure how much they can maintain their ethnic identity if they want to make it in Korea. That's I think true. you somewhat have to assimilate to yeah. what our standards are in order yeah. to, first of all, be noticed. When I just knew Blackpink as like a group and not the individuals, Lisa, I didn't realize she was a foreigner. Oh. She just kind of like blended in. I do remember mm. when I went to the Philippines, I was very welcomed. Mm. And mm. if that applies to the entertainment scene, I feel like it would be an easier route to try mm. to make it in the Philippines. It's really nice to yeah. see more cultures crossing mm. over like this. Entertainment is such a nice medium to do that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's true.